that there is somebody here today who's doing some Christmas shopping. Am I right or am I wrong? I am amazing. I'm, I'm the best psychic in the world. There's someone here who's doing some Christmas shopping. I'm doing my Easter shopping. You're doing your Easter shopping. Okay, settle down, settle down. Right, so you're doing your Christmas shopping. Now, what is Christmas all about for most of you? It's about the gifts, isn't it? You love to spread, you love to give a gift, and then get a gift in return. Now, I've got here a bit of a gift for you, ladies and gentlemen. I've got a gift here for you. Inside this wallet is something very, very precious. Inside this wallet, you're really gonna want what's inside this wallet. And I promise you now, you can have this wallet, whatever's inside it, it, you swap the contents of your wallet for the contents of my wallet. Is there anyone in the crowd now who's willing to do it? Inside, I'm telling you now, inside this wallet, there's something really precious, something amazing. Is there anyone who'd like to swap the contents of their wallet for the contents of, the, of, of my wallet? Anyone wanna take me on? Oh, maybe you're not so stupid. Shall I reveal what's inside the wallet? Yeah, just listen, there's another guy talking. <laughs> nothing. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you knew there was nothing there, but can I ask you a question? We've all got a wallet, if you like, okay? We've all got stuff that we've got our lives to, but have you got an empty wallet? Do you go out on the weekends and your promise, this world tells you, you go out and get drunk, you're going to be really, really happy. You go out, get a girlfriend, you get a successful career, you're going to be happy. But what happens is we get an empty wallet. Robin Williams, one of the greatest actors to walk planet Earth, had the whole world at his fingertips. Kurt Cobain, have you heard of Kurt Cobain? Again, had everything going for him. What did he do? He killed himself. They killed themselves because they were so unhappy. Now behind me, I've got some. Uh, I've got some Christmas films here. So I'd love it now if you could give me a little bit of interaction and you could tell me, can you name any of these Christmas films? So can we name A? Anybody know what A is? Home Alone. What do you say? Home Alone. Home Alone. Well done. Give her a little clap. Lovely, lovely. Okay. Uh, B. Does anybody know what Christmas film B is? What do you think? Help, there we go, two fingers, well done, lovely, lovely. Okay, what about C? Can anybody name C? A bit harder, Christmas film. Come on, someone tell me what C is. Did you say it? A Christmas carol, you're right, you're right. A Christmas carol. Brilliant, well done, okay. Getting harder, D. Can anybody tell me what Christmas film D is? Santa Claus the movie and B, the lemon squeeze. What is it? The Grinch. The Grinch. <laughs> there we go. Give a round of applause. Right. Here's my question to you. So, in these films, we've got a leading actor, haven't we? Does anybody know who the leading actor is to The Grinch? Jim Carrey. You're right. She's on fire, Jim Carrey. <laughs> what would you think of this? So, Jim Carrey had a premiere for The Grinch, and everyone went to the premiere. They got the cameras out, taking lots of photos. Everyone put a gown on. They got a red carpet. But well, one thing happened, they said, Jim, you're not allowed to your own premiere of your movie. What would you think of that? It's a little bit silly, isn't it? You're not allowed to go to your own film premiere. Let's take it even silly, you ready? Now, we need to imagine it's, uh, I'm gonna invite my friend Johnny out. Johnny, if you come to the front. Johnny, just tell the people now, how old are you? In fact, no, I'll tell you what, we're gonna play Guess the age. So, how are you now? Anyone going by? Can anybody guess how old I am? What do you think? 73. 73, okay. Something in the region of uh, realism, please. Thank you, okay. 83. 73. 72, okay. How old do you reckon my friend Johnny is? 26. 26. Oh, close. Okay. How old do you think I am? 29. <laughs> okay, how old are you, Johnny? I'm 27. 27. Do you think this man is older or younger than me? What do you think? I'm actually younger than him. I'm 26. <laughs> you mean woman. Okay. Now, it's Johnny's birthday today and he's turning 28. I want you to imagine that. But I'll tell you something. Johnny is not allowed to his birthday party. 
we can all go to the birthday party, but Johnny is not allowed to his birthday party. Is that a silly thing, yes or no? What do you think? Put your hand up if you think it's silly that Johnny's not allowed to his own birthday party. Pretty silly, isn't it? So let me ask you this question. Why is it Jesus Christ is not allowed to his own birthday party? What do you think? You know, we have the Christmas trees, we have the presents, we have all the, the meals and everything. But the one thing is, you keep your Jesus as small as possible. We don't want anything to do with it. Jesus came into this world to be the saviour of the world. He loved you and he died for you. That's what Christmas is all about. Because he will save his people from their sins. Ladies and gentlemen, going by, are you perfect? Yes, I am. You're not, are you? I've done wrong and you've done wrong. Do you know that I'm actually dirty? Okay, I'm dirty and I've done wrong things. But Jesus can make you totally clean. He loves you, he hung on a cross. The blood of Jesus can wash you whiter than snow. Does anybody here finish this song for me now by Bing Crosby? I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. White Christmas. <laughs> Would anybody here like a white Christmas this year? Put your hand up. Every single one of us could have a white Christmas because though your sins be as red as scarlet, I can wash them whiter than snow, Jesus said. Jesus can make you clean and it's all yours at the cross. You just have to say sorry and leave behind all the wrong you've done. If you want it, it's yours. If anyone wants to take anything free, please do, except for this hat. It's the only thing that's making me look a little bit younger than I already am. Okay, would anybody like a free Gospel of John? It's yours. Anyone want to take it? Have a think about it.